Previously, I'm 24. Jack! Put down your weapon. Now! The following takes place between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Events occur in real time. Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. Dave, welcome to you too, Ed. <laughs> and, hey. and everyone there. Yeah, welcome everybody out there in TV land. And, and YouTube land. YouTube computer land. Computer land. We're picking up a lot of subscriptions on Are YouTube. We? I don't know if it's because... Of I was putting a lot of our videos on various uh, MySpace and mm -hmm. YouTube things, mm -hmm. inclu including the one where we compared prices of Price Chopper and Hannaford. You're one of your favorite things to do. My, it is. And uh, you notice what happened this year, Dave, and you voted uh -huh. in the competition. I did. They didn't include the Price Chopper gift certificates. As the, was it because of our complaining, Dave? You'd like to think so. I would like to think so. <laughs> Well, you were a little more vociferous yeah. than I was about uh, Price Chopper. I have my problems with all three of the, <laughs> of the area on Hannaford, Price Chopper, and Walmart. But uh, I think Price Chopper's had it too easy in this community for too long. Right. But Earth's... they are, uh, you know, the uh, Golubs are very giving people. They are. You know, they get involved in their local charities, which, you know, that's And good. boy, do they let you know it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they could uh, easily, under the table, a uh, nice sure. donation here and there. The, it's but all in the name of business. They, oh, yeah, I suppose. They, Neil Golem comes out there at the, any telethon that's being held <laughs> with Liz Bishop and her new bobblehead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they appear together, pushing and shoving whatever they're pushing and shoving right yeah. in your face. Yeah, there. That's right. But, but I will uh, say, if, you've no, if you ever read the local newspaper, Ed, they do all, every weekend, usually on a Sunday, there's a page where, they can, where Hannaford does their uh, comparison and they pick their products and they list their prices and they put price choppers right next to it and tell you how much they save. This is a Hannaford ad? This is a Hannaford. It's I did in, see it on the web. Yeah, they do it about, it's a, in print, you know, it's a print ad about, I think I've seen it like the last four or five Sundays in a row. And it's just, a, as you're flipping through, there you see it. And it's got some... Uh, Comparisons and mm -hmm. it's a significant savings if you buy if you're buying all those items. I think they stole that from us. I did put our video on the Hannaford page, mm -hmm. Facebook page, mm -hmm. and somebody from Hannaford responded. Oh yeah, what was it. that? Thank you. Um, had a nice surprise this morning when we got up or something. I'll, I'll send uh, it out. And okay. It was a nice little How comments. About throwing us a gift card then. Right. You get a lot of gift cards from Price Chopper when you call it. That's because plane. they're constantly <laughs> screwing things up. Did you ever get that dollar fifty back from that last item? Oh yeah. Did they make it right for you? They, they did. They made it right. They made it right for me. Oh well, good. They shouldn't have had to though. <laughs> no. They, it should have been right in the first place. Mm -hmm. But what can you do? I understand. You know what the, what the funny thing about this is? Mm -hmm. Of all the three places where you can shop mm -hmm. for groceries around here, the big you know the big markets, Walmart, which by far and away. Uh, attracts not everybody from all walks of life, shall we say. Uh, I've never had a pricing issue there, ever. Everything rings up properly. Yeah. I go to Price Chopper and, you know, it's pretty much hit or miss. <laughs> you know, there's always something that's going to, oh, I'm going to buy this because look, here's what it says. Mm -hmm. It's only $3. And then when you're leaving, you're out in your car, $4.50? Mm -hmm. Well, what? Uh, or or they, they, they have the product listed here. And then they have the little tag beneath it telling you how much it is. But if you don't read it very carefully, it's not that product. It's the one over here. <laughs> so they put it here. 
but they are, they're a little bit misleading sometimes. And it's, uh, I tend to find a price chopper who basically does groceries can't seem to price them right. No, they're too busy worried about get, getting getting you cheap gas. Right. And the new thing was that the, you can exchange your gas tanks for your grill in there now. Let's stick to groceries. <laughs> They're brand <laughs> your car they can keep the carts in the corral now with their little devices. <laughs> but uh, they're going to tack that right up. Now, I want to know with this gas promotion, Dave. Mm -hmm. Somebody is paying for this gas somewhere right. down the line. That's right. And more than likely, it's you right. and the price of your groceries. <laughs> right. Exactly. There's, some, there's probably some kind of ex promotional exchange. Oh, yes, there has to be an agreement. Back and forth. Right. But still, uh, Price Chopper's got to be paying for some of that gas. Oh, be. yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's, you know, like you said, there's an agreement between the Sunoco and uh, Price Chopper, some kind of cross-pollination uh, of advertising. So uh, it, it, it scratches both people's backs. Right. Because you start bringing more people to Sunoco, I mean, they're selling more gas, even though the profit uh, per gallon would be less, but the profit margin ultimately goes up because what you want to do is you want to bring people into your gas station at a lower price, and while they're in there, let's go get a... Let's go get a, uh, a candy bar, or let's go buy this and buy that. And that's how you make your profit. That's where the profit margins are for these little mini-marts, is mm. inside, not necessarily in the gasoline. Right. So if they get more people coming there, grab it a Milky Way. And you're paying much more for the Milky Way right. than that's you right. are anywhere else. Let's see, what films do we have tonight? We have something for the women and we have, something for uh, the men. We do. We have Sex in the City 2. And what would be for the men, Ed? Prince of Persia. Is that for the men or is that for the boys? <laughs> That's for the boys. Okay. <laughs> and then looking for boys. No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> no. So what you're saying is the clergy <laughs> is going to this film. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. All right. So what's for a Sex in the City 2? Uh, yes. Well, let's go with that one. Mm -hmm. We all know what this is about, so why even bother discussing it too much? But it stars the regular cast of characters, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kim Cattrall, Kristen <laughs> Davis, Cynthia Nixon, and Chris Noth. Uh, and of course, it's just Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte, and Miranda taking another bite out of the Big Apple in this sequel to the 2008 summer blockbuster. Well, she's very colorful, isn't she? Ed? Yes. And she's very maternal. I wonder if they're going to bring up the subject of where Carrie's mole went in the past two years. No. <laughs> <laughs> Around the table, we're going to. It's got to be mentioned, right, Dave? I, I, I don't know. Does it? She's had her mole for five seasons and a movie, and then it's gone. It's got to be brought up in this one. I might see this film just to find out oh, no. if the mole was You know, when uh, Barney Fife there <laughs> left uh, the Andy Griffith show, um, I forget the name of the guy, Deputy something, I, I don't know who it was, but took over, played mm -hmm. by Jack Burns, Yeah. Uh, in like 10 or 11 <laughs> episodes, and then he was unceremoniously dumped, never to be explained as to why he was gone. So I think if you can get rid of a whole character in a top TV series, a mole isn't going to get much, uh, much attention. But I don't remember the name of the character he played. Yeah, he was very annoying and repeated things. And he did? Huh? 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 Yeah. huh? 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 Warren. You're right. Deputy Warren. Mm. That's right. He didn't go over well and was gone by mid-season. Right. But and, and no one has said why. He just wasn't there anymore. But, you know, he does have his own website. Does he? Well, not him personally, but someone. Uh, some people who were fans of Deputy Warren. <laughs> Who created a website? A somebody, uh, somebody out there was fans of right. Deputy Warren. There's a lot of, yeah. There's a lot of people with time on their hands. Yeah. Prince of Persia. 